What's up my friends, it's C3 here with another microphone review. This time we are reviewing the InnoGear MU007 or the MU007. It's a condenser microphone with a cardioid recording pattern which means it picks up everything in front of this main grill. For those of you that have watched a number of my videos in the past, you know that I'm not just going to sit here and talk about the mic though. I have recorded a full song with this microphone so we can hear not only what it sounds like with me talking into it, which I'm doing now, but also what it sounds like to record a full drum kit, electric guitars, a bass guitar, and vocals, and then I will let you hear the full song with all the instruments coming together so that we can just see how versatile this mic really is. Before we dive into the recording, I just want to talk about a couple of things. This microphone, out of the box, it's about $30, and it comes with a cable that lets you plug it right into the microphone jack on your computer, so you don't need any other equipment. You can just plug it right into the mic jack on your computer. It also comes with this windscreen that you can put over the top of the microphone and use that instead of a pop filter. The microphone itself rests in a shock mount that it came with and the shock mount screws onto any standard microphone stand. I did just use the cable they provided with the microphone and I plugged it right into my computer so I'm not plugging it into an audio interface with a different cable, which you can do, but I just want this to be as authentic as possible and I'm just using the cable that they provided me plugged right into the computer. One quick thing to point out, I've now plugged this into my laptop and it sounds noticeably worse the manufacturer makes that well known on Amazon. They say you, you've got to plug this into your computer or it's just not going to have enough power to make the mic sound good. Okay, so let's dive into what the actual recorded instruments sound like. I do want to point out that the amp that I was using for even the bass guitar and the electric guitars is just a puny little amp and not ideal for recording bass guitar. I'm using a very cheap guitar. So this is all just like bare bones equipment. Nothing too fancy, so if we can get this to sound good with this microphone, I think what we have on our hands is a what I would deem a good budget microphone if it ends up sounding okay. carry on cause claustrophobia is a nightmare I'd rather make my music elsewhere cause I feel the sun's heat burning through my bones <laughs>
final thoughts on this microphone are is that it sounds like something that you would probably pay $60 for or $70 for. It's a $30 microphone, but it has a noticeably better sound quality than some of the really cheap microphones that you might be able to find on Amazon for similar price ranges or for, for less than, than $30. Yes, it is a cheap mic. No, it is not the best microphone in the world, but for the price, I do feel like we are getting a better quality than what you would expect for something that just costs $30 that can very conveniently plug right into your computer. Just for comparison, this is what my voice sounds like recorded into the Blue Yeti, which is like a $120 USB microphone. I'm not editing my voice in any way right now, just like I did not edit my voice with the InnoGear microphone that I'm reviewing, just so you can compare the two. One of the main drawbacks of this microphone is there is a bit of background noise, kind of a high-pitched hissy sound when you turn up the volume. For this voiceover, I've applied some noise reduction to get rid of that, just noise reduction in a free software. It's easy to do, but this is what my voice sounds like without the noise reduction. So you can tell that there is a bit of hiss in the background. So something to be aware of, for me that wouldn't be a deal breaker, especially for something so cheap, but if it was more expensive, you would expect it to not have that kind of hiss in the background. Sounds like a microphone that we would probably pay a little bit more money for. For those of you on a budget, which I know is probably a lot of you, here is another great option to consider. No pressure, but if you are interested in buying this microphone, there's a link in the description for Amazon. And because I have an Amazon Associates account, Amazon pays me a small portion of their earnings from every sale that I get with this and any other products that I sell through Amazon. Overall, great microphone for the price. Thanks for watching, and that's it.